I was recently in Minnesota visiting family and every time I go back, I like to bring back some kind of fruit or vegetable or a specialty item that they can't get in Minnesota. This recent trip, I made a trip to San Diego to pick up some pork rinds. I ordered 15 bags from this woman who makes them out of her home in San Diego. Unfortunately, I can't give her information out, but I will go ahead and link an Instagram photo the locals share where you guys can buy this in and around San Diego. Like I said, I did pick up 15 one gallon bags, put them in a box and check them in at the airport. As I've gotten older, I just have this different appreciation for food. I used to get so frustrated with my family for packing food and traveling with it, but I get it. Being that I live in California now, a lot of our fruit and vegetables are available year round. So I do like to bring things that are in season back to my friends and family at home so that they can also enjoy it. They just have a really nice crunch to them. Laotians love to have this with papaya salad or anything spicy. My aunt and I were having a conversation about Jiao Kiap Mu and I tried it this week. It was so good that I need to share that with you guys. So if you guys want to learn how to make a spicy dipping sauce out of pork rinds, stick around. What you're going to need is pork rinds. I took some out over here and broke them up so that they'll be easier to crush. You're also going to need roasted shallots, roasted garlic, and roasted chilies. I like to roast my garlic in the shell and then they just pop right out. So that's what they look like. And then we're also gonna season this with fish sauce. Here is the roasted garlic. Next are the shallots, Thai chilies, of your gel is really to your preference. Some people like it really fine, some like it kind of chunky. I'm gonna grab a spoon. We're gonna scrape up some of the bottom pieces so that it gets really well incorporated. Once you get it crushed to this point, we're gonna go ahead and season it with fish sauce. You just want to give this a taste. Mm. It's crunchy, it's kind of fatty, it's spicy. So good. I made sticky rice because you just have to have something to scoop it up. Mm. times like this where I'm like, man, I love being loud. Anytime my mom would make gel, she would have me scrape the inside of it with rice. I still love doing that now. I'm just gonna scoop some up. Super simple to make. I hope you guys give this a try. I'll see you guys on Facebook or Instagram. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if there is any other jail you wanna learn how to make, let me know in the comments box below. See you guys later, bye.